Hello, and welcome to Ticket to Ride, the video game. Uh, this is uh, an adaptation of a board game of the same name. Uh, I just want to take this video to show you how it's played, so let's do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It will be a four-player game. Okay, now, I think the best way to learn the game is just to see how it's done, but I'll, I'll kind of explain what I'm doing. At the beginning of the game, you're given three destination tickets. Uh, each destination ticket has two cities on it. You get points for connecting those two cities that are on the destination tickets. So I have Calgary and Phoenix, Seattle to New York, Dallas to New York. So I'm going to pick Seattle to New York and Dallas to New York. You have to keep at least two, but you can keep all three if you want. The reason I picked these two is because they both share New York in common. That will make it easy for me in the long run because I'll just be able to connect Seattle to New York and then New York down to Dallas. Okay... The object of the game is to get the most number of points, to outscore all of your opponents. I'll, sh I'll tell you how to get points, uh, but it's my turn right now, and uh, let me explain what you can do on your turn. Okay, so on your turn you have three options. The first option is to pick up uh, uh, train cards. Uh, there are eight different colors of train cards. Uh, I start with four, okay, randomly. I have two greens and two locomotive cards. I'll tell you what locomotive cards are in a bit. Um, you can either pick up cards from the table, or you can draw at random from the deck. If you draw one from the table, which I will do, it's immediately replaced by another card. I'm going to pick up two green cards, okay? Now, what are locomotive cards? Locomotive cards are wild cards. They're any color. Um, and I'll explain why the colors are significant in a second. Um, in fact, I'll use what Yellow just did to explain uh, the other options that you have. Okay, so I said that the first option is to pick up cards. The second option is to actually lay down trains on the map. Um, you can do only one of the three options, by the way. The third option is to pick up more destination tickets. Generally, but not always, people do that as soon as they've finished uh, completing the, uh, the tracks connecting the routes that they already have, that they already need to complete um, to finish their destination cards. Alright, so it's back to my turn. I'm going to pick up some more cards, and yeah. Okay, so colors are important because, well, as I'm sure you've noticed already, uh, these train tracks, some of them are certain colors, and you can only complete uh, the routes between two cities of a certain color with cards of that same color. So for instance, if I wanted to connect Toronto to Duluth, and I live in Toronto, so this is significant to me, then I would need at least, um, well, I would need six pink cards. But like I said, locomotives are wild cards, so I could actually complete this route by um, having five pink cards and one locomotive card. Okay, so you can see there are locomotive cards on the table. If it gets back to me, and I really want a locomotive card, I can pick it right up from off the table, but then I'm not allowed to pick up a second card. If I draw from the deck and I get a locomotive card, then I can continue to draw a second card, either from the table or from the deck. This is why most people don't pick up locomotive cards from the table, unless they're in dire straits. Uh, that's because it it slows you down. You can't pick up two cards uh, in the same turn. And in a tight game, that can mean all the difference. Okay, now what shall I try to do? So it's back to my turn. I'm just... well... I'm just gonna pick up more and more cards. The reason you want to pick up more and more cards is so that you have more options. So for instance, connecting Seattle to New York, one way to do that would be to get six yellows, six oranges, six pinks, uh, two of any color, that's what the greys are, greys are any color, and then uh, either two whites or two greens to finish it off. That is one option, but that is a very expensive option because I'd have to wait until I get six yellows, six oranges, or six pinks to start doing that. Um, alternatively, I could just kind of go four here, four there, four there, four there. 
And because that will make for perhaps a more interesting game, that's what I'm going to just do. Um, another option that you can, another strategy that you might take is uh, you can choose either to be an offensive player or a defensive player. By defensive, I mean you just kind of want to connect your cities as fast as possible and get it over with. Offensively, that entails um, trying to block off the routes that other people want. Space is finite in this game, so every time you select one route and claim it, nobody else can claim it. Some cities are connected... Um, some cities are connected with two routes uh, of different colors, or gray routes. What that means is that if I were to connect Denver to Kansas City with four blacks, then all the other players would be able to connect Denver and Kansas City with four oranges. I cannot um, claim both uh, colors between uh, the two cities. Um, this is only the case if you have four or more players. If you have three or less players, then once somebody connects Denver to Kansas City, nobody can uh, connect the, the two cities by the other colored route. Alright, I think that's the, the gist of the game. Uh, I hope you're still with me, if you're not already kind of dozing off. Um, so let's get things started. And I'm just going to connect New York to Pittsburgh, the next chance I get. So, um, you can see that everybody's points are listed uh, next to their uh, avatars. Um, right now, Purple is winning with 15 by having connected Calgary to Winnipeg. Uh, I am in last place with two points. I know, I better get used to it. Um, you can also see the number of trains that every player still has. I have 43 trains left, purple here has 39 trains. The last turn of the game, this is important, is triggered when one player has two or less trains left. So, you usually want to be the first person to end the game, actually, because that means that other people, you have a higher chance of other people still trying to complete their uh, destination tickets, not being able to do it, and thereby uh, making them lose points. If you fail to connect um, your destination tickets, then you actually lose uh, the number of points uh, on that uh, destination ticket. So for instance, I have Dallas to New York, it's worth 11 points. Um, failing to uh, connect them would deduct um, 11 points from uh, my total score. I want some oranges to connect these guys here. Uh, purple obviously wanted to connect these two. He might try to do that by going this way. I want to prevent that from happening because otherwise he'll have a pretty long train route. And that means, you know, that means that I have less of a chance of winning. You can also get 10 bonus points for having the longest continuous train path at the end of the game. It's a handy thing to keep in mind. 